Good morning, Rachel. It's Question Tuesday. Just kidding. It's not Question Tuesday. I just have one question from you. Who else even watches this that I'm going to answer? Okay. I feel like I should give you a briefing on what's going to happen in this video. Kind of like a table of contents. So, first, wait, I haven't even decided the order of these things. How do I want to put them in yet? Hmm. First, I'm going to answer your question. Second, I'm going to ask you a question. Third, I have a comment on something you talked about. Okay, now comes the part that's not all about Rachel. Then, we have a video from another member of my family. So there's me, there's Zoe, then there's John, the last one's Will. John made us a video, we're gonna watch that. Is there anything else? I might have to tell you in a minute. Let me check. Okay, I figured it out. We are going to finish off with a grand epiphany. So if I recall correctly, your question was, in what place would I live if I could live anywhere in the world for one month? And I thought about this pretty seriously. So you said I could only have one answer. And I know in my heart of hearts that, like, the main place I really want to move to is Utah. I think chances are I'm going to be moving to probably either Provo or Logan next year to go to school. And so why would I choose somewhere I'm already going? So I decided that... London, England would be the ideal place to go. And I actually had a dream that I was moving there for a semester the other night. And it seemed like, oh, it was so great. And the dream I was like kind of freaking out because I was worried. I was like, I'm moving to England? Like, it was just out of the blue. And then I woke up and I was like, how is that a problem? Like, please, can I move to England? So, my answer, London, England. So, something else I wanted to say about your video, Rachel. You talked about how you don't like in your world religions class how the professor asks a lot of questions of the students, there's a lot of commenting, and so you hear a lot of people's opinions, but you can't exactly learn information from people's opinions. And you said that maybe that's backwards because that's like, that, that's kind of how the Socratic method goes, like you learn by asking questions and stuff. And that's really true, but I was thinking about it because I completely agree with you. My freshman year, I took um, AP Environmental Science, and it was... First of all, it was the first AP class I'd ever taken, and I'm like to this day I'm not really sure what the point of that class is, because at least the way it was taught to me was we would barely ever do anything in class, but when we would, it was that kind of thing where the teacher would just throw out questions to the class, and then a bunch of different people would give feedback, and then he would never really confirm or deny anything, and so you never knew what the actual information was. You only ever knew what the other people in your class thought the information was. And sometimes the things they said conflicted with each other. So it was a really weird way to learn, and I really didn't like it. And so it's not that I disagree with the Socratic method. I think it makes sense. But I just don't think that it really makes sense in a class setting. I think it makes sense in, like, a smaller group or, like, one-on-one -on -one is great and then you need to kind of get some and it has to be people who are like smart and well informed who are doing the who are participating if you have a bunch of idiots you really just need to tell them what's what you can't teach them by asking them questions um so maybe that's why I don't like it because I'm an idiot could be I don't know I don't okay last thing to Rachel Felt I have a question for you this is not as interesting as the question you had for me. This is kind of a logistical thing. But you said that basically what's going on in your life right now is college. And one of the things you said was getting your own meals. And that's something that stresses me out about moving out a lot. Like food. And the thing is, like, I want to really learn to cook food for myself. So I don't want to completely rely on a cafeteria... But I just wanted to know, what are you doing in terms of food at college and feeding yourself? And how's that going for you? And do you have any advice for me? And that's it. Okay, one more interesting thing. My brother is also a, recently found a love for video cameras. And 
he made this video, so I'm just gonna include it. Yeah. Hello, who are you? I'm Mr. Laundry Basket. So what are you doing? I'm carrying laundry. Well, I'd like an interview. Would you, would you mind? No, I wouldn't mind. That'd be fine. All right. So what do you want to know? Okay, let's see. How long have you been doing this job? Uh, about six or seven years. Uh-huh. And... Why do you like doing this job? Huh? I'm trying to work out and gain some muscles so I can get on the football team. Huh, okay. Anything else? Um, no, not really. That's it. Gotta go haul this laundry. So another thing I wanted to talk about today. Today's like a random amalgamum of things I've been thinking about lately. Is this epiphany I had the other day, which I'm sure probably everyone in the world has realized like a million times over. But I just had it and it just came to me and really hit me. The point of life is not to have everybody in the world like you. I really want to be a nice person. I have a lot of empathy for people and I want them to feel happy. And I know that if I do things that will make them feel happy, they'll like me. And so I've started judging like how good of a person I am. Because if I'm a really good person, then people will like me, right? Sort of, more or less. I started judging how good of a person I am based on how much people like me. And that's just not reliable. See you on whenever I see you, Rachel. I'm going to say Sunday because you should be doing these once a week. And you uploaded a video last Sunday, so you should upload another one this Sunday. Okay, see you on Sunday, Rachel.